Hey everyone! I just wanted to give you a quick update because I know I haven't uploaded a crochet tutorial in a while. As I discussed a few videos ago, I am on a really tight deadline to write my second book. And if you guys wanted some hints, I actually already blogged about it, but if you don't follow my regular blog, the book is going to be all about home decor. So it'll be kitchen and dining, living and lounging, bath and beauty, and home office. This is the teaser image that I posted on my blog. So those items are going to be in the book. I'm not going to tell you what they are, even though you can probably guess what they are. The cool thing about a pattern like that is you can use it for anything. Like I would totally put one of those things in my hair. Um, you could make a charm for pendant. You could do all kinds of things. So the book does have a working title already, which is pretty cute. One of my friends came up with it. I don't think she knows that yet that I've been using it as a working title. I'll let her know. But I'm not married to it. So if you guys have some book titling chops you want to exercise, I'm kind of open to suggestions still. I think we still have time to figure out a new title if we fall in love with something. So book titles for nonfiction titles like this usually have two parts. There's like a main title, which is kind of short and snappy. And then there's a subtitle, which is a little more explainy. My subtitle will probably be something like 20 yummy crochet patterns for your home. Or something like that and so then the main title would be the thing that you guys could try to come up with and hopefully it'll be cute and it would sort of convey the three important factors of the book which are that it's projects for the house that it's crocheting and that it's food themed and that's a lot to pack into a title so my current title actually only satisfies two out of those three categories my current title is definitely food related and home related but doesn't bring that crochet element in, which is fine. I think two out of three is pretty good. I think the home and the food thing are important and then the crocheting can come in the subtitle. Or I don't know, maybe the crocheting is important. I don't know. You guys can hash it out. If someone happens to come up with something that I like and that I really want to use, I will get in touch with you and we can work something out within reason. <laughs> But yeah, the other big news is there's a big change in my household, there's a big change in my crafting environment because my best best friend in all the world, Manda, is moving in with me. It just made fiscal sense for now. Like neither of us are living with anybody else or really dating anyone else, so um, it's a kind of a good golden girls moment in our life. She's actually on her way with the U-Haul and two movers right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna film this really quick before they uh, arrive and chaos ensues. So I had to move my craft room from my second bedroom into my dining room. This is kind of the only other room option for my craft room. So Amanda's moving into what was the craft room, which is a second bedroom technically. It's kind of been an interesting process. I did have a lot of help. My mom has been super helpful. Amanda helped me out a whole bunch. And I kind of wanted to take video of that process happening, but I didn't want to waste time setting up a laptop or a camera or something while I had help. So it's sort of like as soon as they got here, we just kind of went straight to work. I did run around with my iPhone a little bit and I tried to capture some snippets here and there. So that's what I wanted to show you guys because I know like a lot of you guys like to check out people's craft spaces. So I finally have the old craft room 100% emptied out and now everything's kind of shoved into the new craft room aka the dining room and that is not done being organized yet you'll see it's still kind of explodey everywhere i don't really have a clear table space right now to crochet a youtube tutorial so that'll be one of my main goals is to make sure there's some place to film and photograph things i am losing a good deal of storage and work area because the dining room is in between my kitchen and my living room so there's a pathway that really needs to stay clear i can't just have like a work table in the middle of the room let's say if i wanted to do that i'm also losing a storage closet and i did get rid of a lot of yarn in my depop shop which you guys might have known about um, Depop is an app kind of like Instagram where you can follow people and, and buy things via PayPal from them when they post stuff from their closets. So I'll probably end up doing that again, phase two clear out, because I'll definitely, um, in the process of trying to reorganize the room, 
I'm probably going to want to shed a couple more things. You should probably follow my blog or Facebook or Twitter if you want to stay on top of when I start posting things for sale. I keep looking at my window just to see if like she's pulling up with the U-Haul. Um, just really quick and some more crochet news. If you are in the UK, um, I am in issue 30 of Simply Crochet. It's been out since the beginning of the month, so the new issue will probably be out on stands really soon. Here in the US, I think we're a couple issues behind. A couple weeks ago I was at Joann's and they only had issue 27 out on the stands, so if you are in the US and you need to get your hands on this ASAP, you can also download it on your devices. On page 57, I have the pattern for the pretzel brooch, which is, it is a really easy pattern. It's really good for beginners. It's basically just a tube and you twist it and throw some salt on it, but it's a fun pattern. It's a fun project. It's really popular when I have it out at my craft fair tables, so that's a cute project for you. And then on the next page, there's a Q&A, like an interview with me. And we just talk about crafting and where I got my start and I don't know I haven't read this whole article yet like she sent me a list of questions and I just answered them kind of like in a back and forth style but the article is kind of more of a, a narrative that she created so I will take a look at that I think we talk about my dogs too I'm gonna wrap this up I'm gonna show you some of the video snippets from the move just so you can sort of see a little bit of the process again it's not done I don't have my big reveal yet I will definitely try to post a new tutorial before I have to deliver my book, which is June, but I really should be concentrating on my book. So I hope my publisher doesn't watch my YouTube channel. And they're like, no wonder you're late on your deadline, you're crocheting videos for YouTube. Oh, Mother's Day is like right around the corner. How did that happen? I do not know what I'm making my mom for Mother's Day yet. If you have an idea for your mom, or if you are a mom and you have an idea for what you want to receive for Mother's Day, leave me a suggestion in the comments. Maybe we can work on something for our moms together just a couple weeks away. So if you want to put in a bid for that, do it ASAP. I'm going to eat something really quick before everyone gets here and um, enjoy these snippets of chaos and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. I think I hear a U-Haul. There it is. I'm gonna go help now. Bye. looks like because Amanda's job is to restock the pink shelf. <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking video of the process for YouTube. <laughs> Am I allowed to post that? Yeah, whatever. Because <laughs> it looks super clear in here, but then it looks like crap out here. <laughs> oh my god, it looks really bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs>
recording live from a pile of crap on the floor because I'm moving my craft room. 